Chairman Whitfield, Ranking Member Rush, and, and the subcommittee members. I'm Mark Gerken, CEO of American Municipal Power, and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to appear before you to discuss the, the importance of the electric uh, sector's uh, fuel diversity. My remarks will focus on the role of hydropower can play in these diverse resource portfolios and also the challenges that are faced in the development process. Ohio-based AMP is a wholesale power supplier and service provider for 130 municipal electric systems in seven states. Collectively, AMP has serves more than 625,000 meters and has had a system peak in 2012 of 3,500 megawatts. Last year, AMP had power sales revenue of about $775 million and total assets of about $5.5 billion. AMP is currently constructing four hydro projects on the Ohio River at existing U.S. Corps of Engineers locks and dams. These projects total more than 300 megawatts and a $1.6 billion investment, uh, which represents the largest deployment of run of the river, new run of the river hydropower in the country today. One of our projects is the Smithland Project in Chairman Whitfield's district. Another is Willow Island Project in Representative McKinley's district. The power from these projects will benefit our members and districts of dozens of uh, members of Congress, including Representatives Griffith, Latta, and McKinley. Importantly, AMP's projects are resulting in around 1,200 jobs through a period of four years, as well as contracts with major vendors in over 12 states in this country. Our hydro projects are part of AMP's overall above uh, all of the above energy strategy, which embodies the importance of fuel diversity. AMP works with the nationally recognized firm of SAIC to develop strategic long-term power supply resource, resource plans for each one of our members. And that's a key component in our ability to undertake generation investments in that our members are able to take a longer-term look at these investments because they care about the long-term future of their customers. Um, AMP, works, our AMP has long used the term diversified to describe our portfolio, which includes own, operated, and purchased output from natural gas, coal, hydropower, wind, solar, diesel, and landfill gas generating facilities, as well as strategic wholesale market purchases and a robust energy efficiency program. Our projects represent fuel, technology, and geographic diversity and will yield long-term risk balanced portfolio with predictable rates. Run of the River Hydro uh, projects are capital intense but have many positive attributes. As I listed on pages 7 and 8 of my uh, written testimony, I would ask you to look at those because I think as a renewable, hydro does set itself apart from wind and solar when it comes to uh, load dispatch and other things. One of the, mo of, of, of the more than 80,000 dams in the United States, the more than 78 gigawatts of hydropower available today are provided by just 3 percent of these dams. In an April 2012 report by DOE's Oak Ridge National Lab, founded that adding power to the national non-power dams has the potential to add 12 gigawatts of new capacity. Additionally, the National Hydropower Association job study shows that between 230,000 and 700,000 jobs could be created through the development of new hydropower. Despite hydropower's uh, positive attributes, the role is a diverse energy portfolio and the process from inception to construction for the new facilities is extremely challenging. Most developers don't enter the regulatory process with unreasonable expectations. We understand the need to balance the environmental protection with development. One of the key challenges is to keep costs down and stay on schedule, which makes the regulatory process very critical. Developers must carefully time the required modeling studies, the site assessments because the studies have seasonal and weather limitations. A hydropower, a hydropower developer must also have significant capital, millions of dollars for larger proje projects to cover the cost through permitting. Of the, of the regulatory process, we found that the critical path sometimes is strictly the PJM interconnection in our case uh, of uh, that could take 24 months and commonly uh, is uh, filled with delays in that process. AMP, AMP's experience has been uh, with hydropower projects on non-powered uh, core dams. Key regulatory approvals are FERC license and the core 404 and 408 permits. Some of these studies required are required in the FERC process are, are repeated in the core process. In order to obtain a 404 permit, applicants must demonstrate that the discharge of dredged and fill material will not significantly inter, uh, impact or degrade the national waters, and there is no, and also that there is no practical alternatives to damaging the aquatic environment. Prior to the issuance of the 404 and 408 permits, approvals must be provided by the Corps to ensure that the lock and dams are not compromised. AMP was the first entity uh, required to obtain a 408 
uh, uh, permit in lieu of, as well as the 404 permit. We saw considerable delays. Um, we witnessed uh, delays in financing, which cost us significant dollars, and we see the need to streamline that process. What can be done to improve the process and bring more hydropower online is to help diversify the national energy portfolio. AMP is pleased that a bipartisan legislation sponsored by Representative Morris Rogers has been favorably considered in the House. The Hydropower Regulatory Efficiency Act will improve the process for smaller hydropower projects and require study of additional improvements to a broader scale. I believe that fuel diversification is paramount to our nation's energy uh, security. This includes ensuring that reliability and affordability are considered in rulemakings, impacting existing generation resources, and that more efficient regulatory processes are in place to help facilitate the development of new infrastructure to meet our nation's energy and capacity and reliability needs. I commend the subcommittee for reviewing this topic, and I wish uh, thank you very much, and we'll be happy to respond to questions.